Um, so, um, welcome everyone um, to Cohort 5 Advanced Art Book Club. So, basically today is just introduction of ourselves, how the book club gonna work, and how we're gonna do the presentation. Um, John advised that the first session is always this format that we just introduce ourselves, who we are, and then assign all people uh, volunteer to choose the chapter they wish to present. So that is the purpose for this, um, to this session. And also, um, uh, basically, um, I prepared a book down, uh, I thought, um, because other book club, they are using book down presentation, not slides. Um, uh, but John says um, maybe we can continue with using the uh, slides because it's, it's great it will take time for him to prepare the GitHub repo for this kind of presentation. So um, the, this format using uh, Bookdown is just for today, but uh, subsequent presentation will be using slides and everything else everyone wants. All right, um, so this is the agenda today. Um, uh, basically, uh, we'll see, um, introduce ourselves and uh, discuss how the format for the book club. And also uh, we uh, volunteers choose chapters they wish to present. So we welcome everyone to this book club and um, we hope at the end we will benefit and learn from each other and run down to the last bit of the chapter because as we know, at the very beginning, many people start the book club, and when the going get tough, many people drop. So I hope um, we will learn from each other and uh, move along together. So um, uh, it is wait time right now. We have many different time zones. <laughs> Everyone is in different stuff. So um, for the <clears throat> first two weeks, um, we will be using this time and subsequently we'll be using this time. And um, everyone knows um, uh, the book, which is Advanced Art. Um, this is the book and uh, we need to use uh, this second edition. Um, so make sure that um, the one you'll be working is the second edition of the book. And also um, for those that are new to Art for DS Book Club, um, each presentation is recorded and available here at the YouTube uh, channels for art for years. So um, when you are gonna present, um, it is recorded. And um, if you don't want to be recorded live, um, so you can turn off your camera because it's gonna be on YouTube. So it is up to you. And um, we have um, a GitHub repo um, where, um, everything is documented um, so there are many information here and you can see this is the format um, for instance here cohort two cohort three cohort four and our own will be cohort five so this after the presentation um, you can see chapter one for cohort one name of the presenter the slides and the video chapter two, um, chapter two, chap, uh, cohort one. So this is how it's gonna be. So our own now will be um, cohort five, the name of the presenter, slides and video. So at the end of the day, um, you will be, if you're gonna do presentation, you're gonna make, um, clone this repo, prepare the slide and uh, make a pull request so that uh, you can put your slides here. Um, you are not responsible for, um, put in the video, we'll upload the video and put the link for the video. Um, so that is about um, the repo and- um, I have a question. Right. Um, so the, um, in the repo, there were the slides in the presentation. Um, the slides, since we're not adding to the book down, are the slides flexible or are we to host them uh, are they included in the repo or uh, maybe okay. we can elaborate on that a little bit? All right. So um, we have um, Zarian, I think, is it Zarian? What do you call it? That kind of presentation? Oh, 
Sharingan? Sharingan, Sharingan. So I think there is Sharingan here. Um, so, um, uh, okay. So you can, um, if you are not, um, you can get, um, okay, this is, yeah, you can get um, weekly um, slides and you can update your own, uh, match them and use the existing one. There is no need for you to use um, uh, new presentation. Um, just adapt one, make it better if you want. Um, yeah, this is how um, it works in educational. We, okay. all, um, we lean on the shoulders of other people, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you just Makes make sense. it better. So here is um, the presentations and here is the, um, so this is a um, book down for the solution of uh, uh, R for data science. And the first cohort prepare a solution. And this is the, uh, uh, the, repo for the question and answers for the advanced R. And um, yeah, there are a lot of stuff if you read here, right. So um, as you can see here, there is another book here, advanced R solution, and this is another um, And So um, if we look at the first one, um, yeah. So this is the first one, the solution from uh, cohort one, um, prepared by uh, Maya, um, but uh, the solution, um, they work together in the group and people posted the solution. She asked question and they encouraged um, to um, develop this um, solution. And also there is another one um, here, uh, um, Advanced R. Um, uh, a print version of this book will soon be released as part of this series. So there are a couple of solutions you can get your hands on and that works um, because uh, as Hadley said, that one of the best way to um, melt down the concept and is to work through the solution, try to do it yourselves. And uh, yeah, and um, this blog, uh, book club is um, governed by um, this R4DS um, uh, conduct conduct. And uh, so we have conduct conduct here and uh, yeah, um, you can see them. And yeah, so uh, I think uh, that is um, that about that. And, um, Right, so each week a volunteer will present a chapter from the book. Um, yeah, of course, um, this is the best way to learn. I mean, just volunteer to see that you present the chapter and uh, we'll add you to the list of the uh, presenters. And the presentation review of the material discussion and demonstration. And so normally um, you can uh, prepare the slides and while you are explaining the concepts, you can walk down through also the R Studio uh, for the practical purpose. Um, you can uh, move through the slide and your R Studio. Um, more information on how to present um, is available in the GitHub repo that I just opened. And also for questions and answers, uh, if you have any question at any point in time, feel free to share the question, the Slack and the advanced R channel. So anytime, um, in the, the call here, um, anytime, just share the question in the chat. So that is the discussion format. Um, uh, any question before we proceed? Um, right. Um, so um, I think uh, we can introduce ourselves now. So, uh, right. So um, let me jump and start. So um, my name is Shamsuddin and I'm from Nigeria. Um, I'm a graduate student as well. Um, I started using R last year. I was using Python and then um, for machine learning stuff. And uh, I started using R for statistical analysis and find it um, so amazing. So uh, my experience, I started using R obviously last year. And so you can see I'm not also strong in R. So, Feel free to jump and take any chapter as well. Um, we are all learners in this club and we learn together. Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, so can I, someone can jump in? And my aim is to learn goals, to learn together, uh, which I believe is the best way for me and um, learning group. All right. Um, so do I need to call? <laughs> I can go, Layla. but Mike seems to be off anyway. Um, I'm Sarah. I uh, work as a data analyst at the New York Public Library in New York. Um, and I've been 
using R and on and off for a number of years, um, but in my current role, I'm using it pretty constantly. And before I did this, I was a, a researcher at a community development nonprofit, um, also in New York. Right. So good. I guess I can go next. So. Yeah. Um, I'm Leila. I um, am... So I'm still looking into it. I actually just started as busy with some other, but uh, mm -hmm. it seems uh, I, I can do it. Like, give me like half an hour, maybe. Should be okay. Or if you want, we can go through it right now itself. Hello? Okay, Leila. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as I was saying. Yeah, I yeah, one second. My name is Layla. Um, I uh, am a research analyst at the University of Miami. I am a pretty active R user, um, but pretty when I say active, pretty active on the basic stuff. I think my ed I wouldn't consider myself advanced by any stretch. I I only picked up R probably like three years ago. Um, yeah, that's it. Right. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Sam, do you just want to call people on the order on your screen? Yeah, sure. Um, so, um, Debolina. Hi, uh, I'm Debolina, um, or Deb, whatever is easier. I'm a student, I use R pretty consistently. Um, and I'm excited to learn more about the internals of R and how it actually works. Right. Um, 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 Brett. Brett. Uh, I'm I'm Brett. I'm uh, I work at uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution um, in the Northeastern United States. Um, I work in a lab that does radiocarbon dating, and I use R. I've actually used R for about 20 years now, off wow. and on. Um, I am surprisingly bad at it given that amount of time. Uh, so I'm hoping to get better at our internals and hopefully just get to be a better programmer in general from kind of learning this stuff. Right, Hannes. Uh, hi, I'm Hannes. I'm from Austria. Um, I'm beekeeper and I'm only a hobby programmer and I love to do programming and I know a lot of programming languages and now I'm learning R and I'm already, I would say, advanced in R. Right. Um, Hada Mazahi. Yeah, that's me. I'm Hoda, actually. Uh, I'm originally from Iran, and uh, right now I'm doing a PhD project at uh, University of Zurich in Switzerland. Um, I'm constantly using R, but um, just as Lila said, uh, I'm also not an advanced user, so I'm looking forward for this opportunity in order to uh, expand my knowledge here. Right, great. Um, Innocenta Amima. Yeah, hi. Um, my name is Innocenta. I'm originally from Kenya, but currently I'm a postgrad student at New, in New Zealand. So I'll say I'm pretty much, I've used R for like two years, but then um, just the basic stuff. So, and that's why I'm interested in this book club because I want to better my functional programming and become an advanced art programmer, hopefully. Right, cool. Um, Marila Lopez. Hi, hi, I'm Mariela. Um, I'm also um, quite, uh, I, ha I have some, some years uh, uh, working with R, like around five. I'm currently doing my PhD um, in biology and I use R pretty much for, for um, a lot of bioconductor and so on. Um, but I, I would like to learn a bit more on the internals and um, do a better programming. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I'm originally from Mexico, but I work in Germany, so yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, me too. I, I, I'm calling from Portugal because I'm PhD student there, so, but from Nigeria. <laughs> um, so, Kaiti. Hi, sorry, I um, accidentally exited. I'm actually like a fairly new coder programmer overall. I'm currently learning Python and R simultaneously. Um, mm. So for me, this may actually be like 
way too advanced, but what I would say is what I've noticed about how I'm using R so far compared to how I'm learning Python is that I'm learning much more about how to program in Python and think about it. And when I look over the first few chapters of this book, it's a lot of the things that I'm now questioning about how R works as I'm learning them about Python. So I'm, I think for me, it will be a, a, a lot to learn. Um, Good. But, but anyway, right. I'm a PhD student um, in the US. Right, right. Um, thank you. Um, Morgan? Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm a retention specialist at Northeastern State University in Oklahoma, USA. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm using R more and more every day to analyze uh, student data in order to support student retention and graduation of students. But Interesting. I, I, I'm hoping to become an advanced R programmer. Uh, right now, I feel like I get in my head what I want it to do, and I just Google a lot uh, to, <laughs> to figure it out. And so I feel like, you know, I get the job done, but I have no idea. I'm sure I'm not using best practices, right? That it's it's not the best way to do it. I'm just purely results driven right now. And I, I'd really like to clean up my code. Yeah, um, but also to add on top of that, even advanced users, the Google is their friend. So don't feel it somehow if you use Google. Every time Google is by the side because they're not everything on top of someone people's head. All right, um, um, have I call everyone? Um, if I have not called your name, you can just jump in and introduce yourself. All right, so I think we have introduced all of ourselves and uh, it is nice to have a mix of people from everywhere around the world and with experienced users in R and uh, some people here more than 20 years doing R. Um, yeah, so I have been using programming for over like 10 years, but R, I started using it just last year. So, and um, I'm hoping to also sharpen my skills. All right, so let's get, all right, okay. So this is the goal of the book, um, obviously. Um, so, uh, uh, hardly say mastering the book um, because um, he learns a lot of mistakes along the way and that motivates him to write the book. Um, so um, we hope all the techniques um, that Hadley presented in this chapter will um, internalize them and become uh, a better programmer. Um, all these slides, as you can see, as I made mention in the previously, um, I adapted them from another repo and just modified some stuff. Right? Okay. Um, so. Uh, even if you are new to R, you can get up to speed uh, from the first part of the book. We have a foundation. Um, so if you are new, you don't feel like um, this is too advanced. Um, you will still learn R from that because we have foundation. Uh, you will learn um, complex data types and perform operation with them. And also you learn functions, environment, and how to use the conditions. So you can see all these conditions, function, data types, the foundation of R. And from the foundation, we can skip to the second part, which is functional programming and understand why function programming, why do we use it in the science. Also know about R's rich variety of object-oriented system, X3, X4, and X6, and this section, and also meta programming. And uh, finally, we have a good intuition for which operation R make it slow or use a lot of memory. And yeah, so uh, this is just a bit of um, the explanation of the sections which um, actually uh, presented here. So we have section about foundations, functional programming, object-oriented, meta-programming, and finally techniques, how you can improve the performance at the end, finally. How can you improve the performance of your art and you can debug the code and write R code in C++. So this is, I think, the uh, last chapter. Uh, yeah, so this is, you look at this, this is the sections. Um, we have um, the 
foundations with edge structures. And in the functional programming, we have this. We have object programming, X3, X6, X4, meta programming here. And finally, some techniques. And um, these techniques are basically uh, takes you to how you can debug your R code. If you jump into problem, how you can use reflex to prepare a good um, uh, uh, code so that you can seek for help and how you, so these are basically the structure of the book. And, uh, all right, okay, we also have the structure of the chapter. So each chapter is presented with the uh, goals of the chapter, then pre-quiz, then the outline of the chapter, and sometimes there are some pre and quiz. So highly, uh, strongly advise that uh, you attend the pre quiz and answer them at the end. So um, this is just a structure about the uh, chapters. Uh, so uh, the last thing is um, we look for the volunteers. So for the foundation, we can six now for the uh, volunteers and uh, uh, I don't know. Right. So we have chapter two. Who would volunteer to present chapter two? Is there a Google Doc somewhere? Do you want to do that? Yeah, I will share that one after the call. Um, so I will share uh, um, a doc um, so that we can put all our names because um, basically what we can do because um, the repo for um, advanced R cohort five is not created. Um, so basically, um, when you clone the repo, you write your name for the chapter you want to present. But I will share the Google Doc now um, so that you can uh, fill in the chapter you want. Um, right. So uh, because it involves um, using Git, uh, some people might not be um, familiar with Git, how to use Git. So there are some resources for new users uh, for Git that may be quite helpful. And we have Git for our group clubs. So, we have um, some couples of videos uh, that shows how you can clone the repo and um, uh, put your slides and update your slide. So, yeah, so we have a, a couple of two videos here, Git for book clubs and Git for uh, book clubs for local setups. So um, if you are new to Git, um, this might be useful so that you can uh, know how uh, to work with Git, um, but ultimately, this is a good reference for using Git with R um, by um, Jen Brand, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, this marks the end of our presentation for today as an introduction. And uh, if there's any question, um, any concern, any addition or input, um, the Flow is open so that you can talk. All right, thank you. Uh, maybe you can talk about the structure or anything else you think of. Um, right. So um, for the next chapter, chapter, um, can we hear the Valenciana for the just one chapter for the next one? Chapter two. So this is the content of the chapter, names and values. Then. All right, so um, I think maybe it will be best, um, maybe <laughs> nobody wants to talk. So um, I will share the Google Doc um, so that people can impute their names um, along the chapters they wish to present. I actually yeah. raise my hand if it helps. I can uh, do the first chapter. Right. I'm Hoda, by the way. <laughs> uh, hold on. Ah, I can see. Okay. So we have the uh, uh, volunteer for the first chapter. Hold on. Uh, thank you for his um, volunteering. And we expect to uh, see you next week at um, the same time, I guess. All right. Um, to present the chapter. Um, right. Um, so I don't know how um, you may look at it. Um, so obviously, um, we have some exercises along the way. Um, but um, um, the problem is if we say we will swap all the exercise along the way, it may take some um, all 
the time for the presentation, but uh, what we normally do is um, the presenter will attempt all the exercises and um, if we have more time, we can go through them or uh, after the presentation, uh, people can ask questions about the exercises they're having a problem or issue with. Um, so if we have more time, we can go through all the exercises. But um, uh, what we emphasize is that um, the presenter may try as much as possible to see that he can uh, he goes uh, through all the exercises so that he can answer the question for the uh, people in the call. But that's not necessary. Um, it's just a, a nice way to do presentation and answer any question uh, based on the chapter. Mm -hmm. So anything else? Um, how long should we plan for the presentations to be? Ah, okay, so <laughs> that's a good question. Um, so uh, uh, obviously um, one hour, uh, we do one hour, but um, sometimes it's like one hour, 10 minutes, um, five minutes, but it's one hour the presentation. So that's why it's somehow difficult um, to uh, answer all the exercise questions. Uh, uh, but uh, if someone at the end, um, someone wants to uh, present the exercise the solutions, people that are interested may stay in and someone at uh, the presenter, if you wish to work through and some people can drop. But um, uh, the time for the presentation is when uh, I think that is um, a good time for people so that they will not be, uh, the presentation may not be boring if it is more than one hour. And according to what I understood from the beginning, there are examples of uh, presentations from previous cohorts mm -hmm. on the GitHub repo. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, not only the example, that is what I share, but it's also the, uh, in the channel of R4DS YouTube channels, all the recordings for the previous session are there. Mm -hmm. um, um, all the slides are there in the um, GitHub repo. All the, okay, let, I think I need to open that. Okay, so if we go to this repo, so here we can see, um, this is Kevin um, Kohotsu. This is the slides, he does his presentation and the, this is the video. And this is the introduction, all oh, this one is the introduction. So if we click here, we, it will take us to YouTube, uh, YouTube video and, and this, um, and this uh, video is recorded for each chapter, for each presentation. And you can see many videos are more than one hour long. Um, yeah, it depends with us, uh, the member, we can decide how we can stay. Uh, if we decide we can stay, uh, even if it is one hour, but some people may have time. So what do you think? Uh, one hour. Yeah, okay. A break, what do you think? Um, I kind of prefer a little, I mean, some of the later chapters will take an hour for sure, but maybe a little <laughs> shorter with time for Okay. Questions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think um, that's a good start. Um, so, uh, all that. Thank you for volunteering for the first session. Uh, I think if um, there is more question, we can ask. Uh, someone can ask. If there is no question, uh, uh, I think this marks to the end of our presentation for this week. So, is it next week that it is one hour earlier, or is it the week after? Week after, I guess. Week after, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. If you see the yeah, week after, I guess. The next week will be the same time. Um, exactly. week after, um, the G uh, GMT Europe times changes and uh, everything will also change again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any question again? Right. So I think um, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh. We expect to have this number. We have 11 today. And I hope at the end of chapter 23, we're going to have 11 <laughs> you <laughs> or more. Yeah, uh, how you, we can rewrite our R code to C++ to speed up uh, our R code, uh, our R. So yeah, the last chapter. So <laughs> um, OK, thank you all. Also, uh, Layla and I uh, volunteered for the next two chapters after that. Mm, okay. Chat, so so you, you volunteer for which chapter then? Um, um, I volunteered for subsetting. 
subset, right? So yeah, um, and I I did vectors. Ah, uh, you did okay. Layla vectors, Hoda names, um, uh, what the name? Katie. Okay, Katie. Um, subset. All right, good. So we have um now for now we have uh, uh quite people to for our nearest presentation. All right, okay. Um, so thank you all for joining today, and we we'll see you next week. Awesome. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 Thanks for hosting. All right. Yes. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.